Hi everyone. We're, We're the, the Sunshine, Sunshine Stitchers. Stitchers. I'm EJ. I'm Gary. And I'm Shelia. <laughs> and we would like to say welcome to our video. Uh, we are a channel about counted cross stitch. It is our hobby, our passion. And we, addiction. Ad addiction. Uh, that is true. That is true. If I'm not actually stitching, you're thinking about I, I'm it. thinking about it. I'm prepping. I'm shopping. I'm, you know. That is true. Yeah. yeah. A lot of time spent in the world of watching floss tubes, in the world of stitching. Yeah. And we want to thank you for deciding to spend some of your time with us today. We really appreciate that. So first, we always start out with some comments that we've received on our past videos. And um, later at the end of the video, because we're going to make you suffer all that. <laughs> at the end of the video, we will announce the four winners of our uh, giveaway from episode 117. So hang on. Uh, it's exciting. Can you so, imagine almost 120 episodes. Yes, a lot of people are, are uh, going back and watching them all. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Actually, yeah, I yeah. think it will be a lot of fun because, you know, when you think back over the last couple of years, yeah. you know, we've had a lot of laughs. Yeah. It was a great game. You get a tally sheet and count up all the finishes oh. through the years. <laughs> nah, that's too much. <laughs> or say, what? Where did that whip go to? <laughs> that would be a better game. Where did that, that whip go yeah, to? <laughs> never saw that one again. That's right. <laughs> Uh, first, I want to thank everybody for all of the support that you have written about Mother Moon, EJ's quest to um, finish Mother Moon by Joan Elliott. Then we got to figure out how to keep the drinking game going along. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Moon. Somebody <laughs> wanted to know if when I, oh. Nicole, Buckeye Stitcher wants to know, do we drink when I show Mother Moon or is it just when we have a conversation or you bring up Mother Moon? Whenever I say the word Mother Moon, you should have already had three shots of something or the other. <laughs> <laughs> IX Stitch uh, has a blog and um, they devoted an entire installment of their blog to Mother Moon. Uh, talking about some of the changes in the no, it, it's about the book, the whole book, the book. Okay, okay. book. Yeah. So um, she, I read the the blog. She was reviewing the book, and she said um, the pat. She liked the patterns in the book, and she loved. Um, it was a clear chart, so she she did a review of the book. Okay. She mentioned within that within that post. She also mentioned another book. Okay. Oh, okay. I have to be, you know, I want to be searching for. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put the link. I think I did, but I'll put the link to the blog in um, our description box okay. below. Um, Ellis, Rachel um, said that Gary, this is in reference to the bet that EJ and I have regarding who's going to um, People are underestimating me. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, she is going to win. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know you, EJ. We do? <laughs> I mean, we do have a poll. Well, her recommendation is that you, Gary, should buy us ice cream uh, if we have a start. If we have a start? Yeah, if we have a start. Hey, I'm out for it. <laughs> I think you should buy us ice cream when in, in November because it actually ends in November. No, 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 no. In no. November, when we have no. been successful. No, when you start, when you do, you start in March. You get ice cream. I'm not starting. <laughs> not starting in March. So we don't get ice cream. That's what you say. But I think if we succeed in our quest, you should get us. Um, uh, he's just not into you. Ice cream. Is that is that the name? Yes. He's not worth it. He's not, not worth, worth it. Ice cream. Oh, 
so good. It is so good. They just threw everything in it. They did. That is really good ice cream. There you go. He's not worth it. Yeah, he's not worth it. Mm. That is a flavor of ice cream from a creamery that's in the same town that Gary lives in. Yeah. And, and, and they make it in the shop. So yes. it's their custom. It's a, yes, yeah. yes. And it's really good. <laughs> um, Wendy R. commented on the Seinfeld episode. And I was surprised at the number of people who commented that they had never seen Seinfeld. I know. It, I sent the clip. The only one. I feel like there's a group of us. Well, there is. And it's very sad. Very it's sad. So funny to me. It was so funny. The episode name is called The Contest. And I sent you I sent you guys a little clip on like how the contest came to be. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a hoot. George yeah. Costanza. <laughs> <laughs> so so we are going to show you and all those doubters out there that we are the masters of our domain. Just saying. <laughs> Just, yes. just saying, all right? Mm, let's think about <laughs> Love it. it. <laughs> also, there are a number of our viewers who started Oh Joyous Day on January 20th. Okay. Many, many people commented that they planned to start on that day, and I'm sure you did. And um, it was a great day for starts. Mm -hmm. It really was. So and what did you start? I started nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> hey, guys gotta try. <laughs> gotta try. <laughs> They'll slip up one day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, and I also, so I've watched a bunch of Floss Tube uh, this week, but I watched the third, episode three of This and That Stitch Talk, which is Kimberly Young and Susan Greening Davis. Okay. Kimberly Young is the owner of Sassy Jack's mm -hmm. Stitchery in North Carolina, and Susan Greening Davis is still with Susan. Right. And the, the episode three, so each this series is really talking about a lot of the background and history of cross stitch, a lot about different things with samplers, but Susan has has had different like nicknames as the the gadget lady or um just she has all these tips and tricks okay and it's such a joy always listening to her because she always comes up with something really interesting oh. and in this episode one of the conversations had to do with over dyed threads and how over dyed threads came in to be uh, gentle art sampler threads, weak style works. It was very interesting. Okay, that sounds like a fun one. It, it's a fun one. And so for those of us who, I, I, I really am into threads. I mean, I have quite a collection. Really? I didn't notice. Yeah, a little bit. Call herself like, a, a shot. <laughs> a little bit. But it was a fascinating conversation and the, the trick, she has a neat little trick for if you're working on a piece with over dyed thread, you know, you pick it down to pick it up later. She has a neat trick for remembering how, what end of the thread you're working from for your, to, for the continuation of the color scheme. Okay. Yeah, so um, there's a link to that in our description yeah. box. I always flip mine, it depends on where I'm at, what part of the, if I want it darker or lighter at the spot. I, yeah. Typically I just switch it yeah. back and forth. Every now and then. I pay attention to that. Sometimes. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You do. I rarely do. <laughs> I was like, oh, here, here's the, the jumble of threads. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so again, thank you very much for your comments. Keep them coming. We love them. We read them all and enjoy them very much. So did anybody have a finish this week? I had another SAF. Oh, and, oh, and EJ had a finish. Oh. I had two SAFs. Two staffs. Okay, let's see EJ's finish first. Yes. FFO. FFO. Uh -huh. So um, it's my mother's birthday gift thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. So um, so I took it back. Like, Make the deadline. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Deadline. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took it from her to show you guys. 
-hmm. And she comes, she knocks on my room. She's like, where's my box? I said, <laughs> We'll take my back to that. I'm gonna show the people I was lost to. She's like, make sure you return it back. <laughs> oh. um, so here is the that is oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh wow. The colors are perfect with that. The beautiful. fabric looks great with that uh, yes. color box. Yes. My friend Jennifer finished it for me. Yes. She did an amazing job. Yeah. Oh. This is um this is Cottage Garden. I have the box. Mm -hmm. Cottage Garden. The ivory. Um, ivory round treasure box. Beautiful. Thank you. Really well done. Yeah. Ah, and gorgeous. I like I like the fact that the, um, they're easy to change out if you wanted to change them for seasons. Mm -hmm. Stitching. Like if you had a couple of rounds, you just pop them in for seasons. And that that is a motif from um, Rosewood Manor Bailiwick. Bailiwick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remembered Rosewood Manor. I but... remember Bailiwick. Yeah. <laughs> Bailey, Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Ex excellent. Okay, Gary, let's see your sap. Well. And sap, S-A-F, S-A-F. Started and finished in 24 hours. Yes. No, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be 24 hours. It could just. I don't know. I don't know what the rule is. Well, for this week it, it is. Last week it was. This week it is. But I think normally it's like from start of the from the last time you videoed to the next time you video. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no projects in between. Oh, I don't know about that, but I mean, just from well, the, the one piece. because I started it since the last time, and then I finished it before I recorded it again. Yeah, so yeah, that's, the me, start that's the and the finish. Yeah. So I finished the other two stockings in the in the Love Is in the Air book from Blackbird Design. Beautiful. And this one I changed to Cupid because I love the red yeah. variegation in it. Oh, that. so that's Cupid. Yeah. Cupid. Wow, look at all the variegation in that. Yeah. Goes wow. And Ooh. then, um, see what is. Called. Each one of them have a little name. Yeah. Um, this is the letters is called the Sweetheart Sampler, and it was called for cherry bark, but cherry bark didn't have enough variegation in, in it for me. It, cherry bark's more like the darker color, so I wanted more of the lighter red. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, this one here is February's violets. Oh, it says violets. Yes. Yeah. I didn't even notice that till I finished stitching. Like, hey, look, there's a word there. <laughs> <laughs> they snuck a word in on me. <laughs> I like that one. I love the flowers, the violets. That's yeah. Really that one in the bird in the series is is what um, really drew me to the, this is the February book. So, so Ronnie's going to make him into little stockings and then they're going to hang up on our board right here for the month of February. Congratulations. Good job on the staff. So, Start and finish. Yeah, here they are on, on different fabric. Nice. But I did it on a 36 count Sprite, mm -hmm. which is like a purple gray mm -hmm. from uh, Picture This Plus. Very pretty. Looks lovely. Yeah. Thank you. And that's my start and finish. All right. So I did not have any finishes this week. So Gary, did you have any other starts? Yes. I had a start on Inauguration Day, January 20th. I started uh, Lincoln's Eagle from Teresa Kogut. So this was my one day of stitching. Wait, is it? Is wow, wow. You count um, platinum, uh, cosmic platinum. Cosmic platinum. <laughs> I keep. You told me I, before. I keep switching them around, but this is thirty-two count. Yeah, cosmic platinum. Yeah. That looks really good. The stitching is really nice. That shield is nice. Yeah, I love the shield. Mm -hmm. It's very repetitive and you, and you just mm -hmm. zone in. So now mm -hmm. I come back through and I can just fill in the lighter color. I did the drumsticks and then I guess I'll do the tail feathers. <laughs> I was kind of hungry. <laughs> oh <my God>. drumsticks. <laughs> I started with the breast. <laughs> so, <Are you hungry? laughs> right here, you know, it's just fill in. So that's, I really don't have to pay much attention. I just mm -hmm. do that on a Zoom session mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. But nice. I'm just gonna stitch on him all through the patriotic holidays this year. Okay, so. I'm sorry, and that's called what now? Lincoln's Eagle. Lincoln's Eagle. Mm -hmm. That's a good. 
And I'm still not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to do the frame or not. I'm waiting till the end to see if it if it if I think it needs it. What, that, what does that mean? The frame is the the stitching in red. Yeah, the stitching in in uh, I love the red color. It's not a red. It's um rum raisin. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and then all this is solid stitching. So I was just gonna leave the frame off, see if it looks like, it, and then change the words and do the words in the rum raisin because I like that. And yeah. just words. I think that might lighten it up a little bit for me. Mm -hmm. but, because I really love my fabric choice. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't do. want to cover it all up. Right, so. right, right. So. Very nice. Planning is still in the works. So okay. that's all my start. Okay. Start. All righty. Whips. EJ, let's see your whips. So yes, I, I, I stitched on some stuff. <laughs> Um, the first thing I picked up was Mother Moon. Mother Moon? Oh, that's another shot. <laughs> you guys might not make it to the drawing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I worked on was this. This is, I don't know if you see it or not. Oh. Oh, look at that. So you did some, did you, what'd you do? The sparkly every other stitch or something like that? No, the whole thing is, the whole thing is petite treasure braid. Oh, I like oh, it. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is one of the ones right down here. I could have done it in white or petite treasure braid. Mm -hmm. No. Or a crinic, they asked for a white crinic or whatever. I chose to do um, the white petite treasure braid. PB. Oh. I like it. I like a little sparkle. I think it looks mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is basically the phases of the moon. Uh, full moon, waning, and waxing moon. Okay. Oh. And then the little holes uh -huh. are for beads. beads. Okay. Yay. I love Yay. beads. So it took me a, it took me a minute. Because you know, with Gary, can you please edit this? Oh my gosh. How would I do that? Now I'm like, okay, the, the lighting is not the same, but that's okay. As I was saying, what was I saying? You were saying it was something about the holes for the beads. Yeah, yeah, the holes have, it's supposed to be with beads. Okay. okay. So is that the only place there's beads or is there a lot of beads on that? Oh, beads? no, there are a lot of beads everywhere. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Because there's a lot of beads in the head. head oh, yes, dress. that's going to be pretty. Yes. So I have, um, yeah, so this was one thing I worked on. Okay. The other thing I worked on is um, Baby Elephant by Vervico. Mm -hmm. And I, sorry, I have park threads everywhere now because it's basically a full coverage. Oh my. So <clears throat> This is the, well, it's just a blob of grays and blacks, right? <laughs> but well, this, it, it'll make it shape. You can see. Like, this is the, like, the, I don't know. This is the, the edge of one side of it. So this is how far to the left it's going to be. Oh, okay. okay. So it's not, it's not that big. No, it's not. And then the right side, I'm thinking maybe over here. So. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you could make it into a bell. It, it was like here. So you could make it into a bell pole. Yes, I can. Yeah, that would be yeah. nice. Just do the, the sides, it's super cute. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Baby Elephant by Vervico. Okay. All righty. So uh, notice I've, I'm using roller frame and the, um, the, the other frame. Okay. So when you pick your roller frame for your fabric, you go to the edge of the fabric or you go a little bit over or does it really matter? For the length of the scroll the, bar? For the width. Yeah. Um, this is the only, this is the only, this is the only one I have. So this is the only one that fit. So yeah. that's what I'm using. Okay. Yeah. If, if I had a choice, I would get a longer, it would need to be on a longer one. Yes. I have, um, mm -hmm. Generally, I try for about a, a half inch on each side. So an inch bigger than your fabric. For an inch bigger than my fabric. But if I go like EJ, I've got a perfect fit, that's fine. Okay, good. That's fine. Um, 
because I can have, and I do, for instance, my ABC de la Brodeurs uh -huh. is on a long, longer scroll rod than the piece sits in the middle. Yeah, it's like mine. mine yeah, is. yes, yours is the yeah. same way. So it's the, the, the uh, secret, and, and I learned this from, uh, well, anyway, I learned this way early when I first heard about roller frames. Uh -huh. Um, is you want to, you, you, you don't want to double up. You don't want your fabric scrunched at the end. So the length of your scroll rod needs to be at least the width of your fabric. Okay. Fabric. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Cause you don't want to, yeah. And we all, exactly. Stuff. And he has set lengths. He makes set lengths. I think there's 26, 28. There may even be a 27. I don't know. But so you can get pretty pretty close close okay to, so yeah so that's a good rule of thumb to have at least a, a half inch i, I like a because if you bit. if you if you roll a little crazy <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm sitting a straight line doesn't look like it but i am <laughs> yeah. right that's right <laughs> my last piece um on the 20th i picked up i did not start i picked up oh joyous day yay all right Sorry, it took me, so I was missing, I wasn't missing, but I need to, I needed to, to kit up six more threads. Mm -hmm. So most of the time was trying to find six threads to match as close yeah. as possible. So, um, so this is now the full color palette. Nice. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Looks, looks pretty good. Yeah. It's all relatable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Muted tones. Mm -hmm. so, well, I think those are a little bit brighter than the called for colors. Mm -hmm. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Looks and nice. then I did 134 little stitches right here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. What is that? A pear? It's a and flower. A flower? Okay. The pear, the, there is a pear. The pear okay. is like the middle. Right. So, the reason why, like, because I thought like this was too, because it called for red pear. I don't have red pear. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking for something close to it. And I was stitching. And I'm like, this is a little bright. This is a little bright. But it is brighter than what you see uh, in the, in the yeah. front cover. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay with it. Yeah. As long as all your colors are the same or deepness or yeah, saturation yeah. Whatever, whatever the word is yeah it'll 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 go it'll read right as long as one is not really neon-y in there right. <laughs> or really primitive. unless you want it to be you could, yeah. You could, yeah. Well, unless you wanted it to be but and this is all victorian model sampler shop threads okay. yes and who is oh joyous day by blackbird design blackbird okay thank you no problem buy all the blackbirds buy all the blackbirds <laughs> All right, Gary, let's see your whips. Okay, my whips. I picked up um, Homewards. Rosewood Manor. Rosewood Manor. <laughs> That's a little, it. That's a little block here and did a, started down here. I did a bunch of lines. Oh, well, that should have been in your finish section. Why would it be in my finish section when it's not even halfway of the pattern? <laughs> Oh, that's not. Oh my yeah. God! That's so I'm Look where Welcome is. Welcome's right Way up, up here. There. Yeah. <laughs> that's a third or a quarter. Yeah. Like <laughs> this is going to be a beautiful piece. Yeah. yeah. About a, it's going to be this about the size of of this guy right here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. fat fat quarter. That so, is beautiful. And these are all um, Valsois silks that I've I've changed changed it out with. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing two threads for the words mm -hmm. and all the motifs, I'm doing one thread. I love that. And it looks very light. It's not as heavy because yeah. I wanted to be able to see all the little intricate pieces yeah. there. Yeah, really nice. On what count are you using? Uh, this is a 30, 32 count. Pretty sure it's 32. Yeah, good job. I don't know what it's 36 because initially I was going to do it with one thread, okay. but I wanted the words to be, um, yeah, be more prominent. This is a uh, love letters for it was love letters from um color and cotton was my fabric of the month. Oh, okay, yeah. very nice. 
And then I also picked up my Santa. And Ooh, look at him. Wow. And he's turning up all, all, all this holes is all beat. So he's beat it all. He's going to be beat it all. Wow. Uh, I'm learning something, um, stitching on the sparkly thread yeah. fabric. Yeah. The next morning I wake up with eye pain. Oh, really? So it's strained. Oh, so, so yeah. It's a yeah, strain. Yeah. But there's, but there's a little elf sitting on the table over here. I need to come over here some more. Okay. So. If, if, for real, for real, if I knew that piece was that big, I would not have you had, like, it has a, as a finish. Definitely halfway or something. That's a big pattern, but you, you're, you're killing it. Good job. And again, there's a frame around it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the frame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I, know, I really need the frame. I know because with the sparkly fabric and, yeah. and all the shapes, I think it looks really he's yeah. just popping off that. He really is, yes. And then when you put it in the picture frame, you've already you've got a frame on a frame. I think yeah. it's a bit busy, but I I'm gonna and again I'll I always do my frames last and yes. then see if it needs it. And who is Santa by? Uh Jim Shore. Oh Jim Shore okay. in collection with Mill Hill. Okay. There's like nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand yeah. <laughs> nine 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 beads <laughs> because everywhere there's there's holes all through even in the all that wood right there is, is all beads. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to bead because it's it's easy because it's yeah, inside of to, stitching. Yes, it's yeah. not that that pain. It's all outside, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So that sporadic beads. Right. So that's all the stitching I did this week. Oh, very cool. That much. Very cool. Okay, so I was busy this week. What'd you start? I worked on <laughs> <laughs> this is this was my inauguration day oh. uh, stitch. Oh wow. Yeah, so I did a lot. Almost a whole section. Yes, because I um, was I up think, there, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You had like the 18, e, you had 18. In 18, I think. So I mm. did the 100, uh, these words here, and I started on. A tree. Yeah, this. Oh, the hill, the, the grassy yeah, hill. Yeah, this, this picture, <laughs> this picture here. So uh, the, oh, the, the tree. tree. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is on, this is Silver Creek Sampler's uh, Seeds of Freedom. Mm -hmm. It's on 32 count sage. It's a Zweigart, an uh, old, old, old fabric from back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I love those day fabrics. That's right. And it's Weeks Dye Works and General Arts Sampler Threads. Okay. So that was that. That was Wednesday, inauguration day. I and we did a hashtag in, in Garon, hashtag um, inauguration sal. Oh, okay. So, I'll make sure when I do post it, I'll put that so on. Some there. people had some really great um, yeah. patterns they picked. I like it. Uh, I also worked on antique cups and spoons. Nice. Ooh, I love your colors. Yes. Yes. Antique cups and spoons is this is by Shakespeare's Peddler. Yeah. It's on 30 count studio line beige. Um, and I'm using cottage garden threads. Okay. Cottage garden threads are from Australia. Mm -hmm. I have a nice little collection and I'm picking a color for each cup. So it kind of reminds me a little bit, not much, but a little bit like Fiesta wear. Yes. In a different color. Yes. Yeah. Style. Yeah. I like that. All of the spoons, however, I will be doing in a, a gray tone called Tool Shed. Okay. Yeah. Then you know what? I might have to pick mine up and start mine because I I, I put stuff all across the top yes. of the kitchen. Uh -huh. and it's a nice kitchen piece. It is a wonderful kitchen piece. Because it's good, it's good scale. It's, yes. You can see it from up high. This is the width of the piece yeah. across okay. here. And then um, there's there's some down here. Now, she uh, charted teacups through the center, the word teacups. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? I'm going to put teacup charms. Mm -hmm. um, charms. Oh, you have some little metal teacups? To put yeah. In? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did that with keys. I did locks and, locks and keys. Yeah, I remember and that. And I found keys rather than stitch the word keys. I'm going to do 
the same thing, okay. but with like little teeth. I did locks and keys. I just think I typed in a stitch. Yeah, you stitched in keys. I always type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this is, I'm enjoying this very much. Every time I come to a different teacup, mm -hmm. I'm having fun kind of pulling them out and picking uh, what yeah. colors. And your colors use. are fairly balanced. So They're really fairly good. balanced. Um, and I'm thinking though, across the bottom, I might switch to some more blues. Mm -hmm. um, to pull this blue over to here. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I like that. So yeah, that's, that's, that's fun. Yeah, because or originally when you were talking about, it, you said something about doing it all in blues, like blue Wedgwood. Yeah. And I like your I change. like this yeah. better. Yeah. I have to Google Fiesta wear because I don't know where that is. Oh. It's very bright. It's very bright. Beautiful. It's oranges. People reds. collect it. They don't use it. Most of them collect yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And I also think that's why the window kitchen cabinets the clear kitchen cabinet doors became very popular because mm -hmm. people with fiesta wear, uh, everybody who I know who has fiesta wear has put in the clear um, the glass window, the glass front. doors so that you can see the fiesta wear. And it's just, it's just so yeah. joyous. It's just, woo -hoo. <laughs> I got to research. I got to do some research. Yeah. You can get all lime green if you wanted it. I also stitched on Madame Chantilly uh, Cats in the Rain. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm doing this. I think is it? I forget. Uh, I think Buckeye Stitcher was doing it. Yes. I think she finished hers. And I I think Carolyn Zook was supposed to start it. I don't yes, recall I don't seeing know if it. Yeah, I Carolyn has finished has started. So hers. what was it? What was that, Carolyn? I didn't hear you. <laughs> oh, dirty. <laughs> That's why you're a oh, you're a oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> Um, Cats in the Rain is being stitched on Carrara model, Carrara, 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 Mar Carrara, is uh -huh. that what it is? Carrara. Carrara marble in 36 count. It's the one that, that, it looks like it's printed on one, one on the front side and on the back yeah, side, right? Is that a color in cotton? No, that's, that's a witch one, I think. A witch also, okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't write it down. I'm not sure if I oh. knew. Uh, and I'm using the call for DMC, except that I changed the skin tone to 3862. I love the little yellow slicker. Yes, I, 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 when I was, I said this before, when I was a little girl, I did want a yellow, yellow raincoat mm -hmm. like that. And her hair I did, um, so this is 36 count done in mostly one strand. Her hair I did in two because I wanted the thickness mm -hmm. to look thick. And the umbrella may be done in two as well. Yeah. Just the umbrella top. I, I had an image of, um, this is cats in, cats in the Rain. Imagine an image of Poodles in the Rain and it would be, a little boy would be me there. <laughs> and Ginger would be hooked on here. So I don't want to get wet. <laughs> and Leah would be jumping in the mud puddles. <laughs> So that's fun. I'm enjoying that. So I'm mm. almost, uh, you know, it's, it's. The yellow's it's, nice. Yeah, I can't wait to get to the cats. Yeah. That'll be, yeah, that'll be fun. And speaking of cats. Yes, and speaking of cats, uh, I'm back on my daily rotation. Uh, Prairie, oh, hmm? I forgot. Prairie Moon, uh -huh. um, the cats. The cats is on 28 count fabric flare. Um, this is a uh, musical notes, it's called. And it has uh, like the staff oh, down there. Yeah. I'm using for the I'm using the call for DMC, except that the shirt was supposed to be white. And you changed that. I had to change it because the white on So this, are you gonna do the skull since your piece look, feels has a different feel? I don't know if skulls would really go. You might, you might not need them. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll need them. I might put some lamps there, but maybe not skulls maybe per not, se. Maybe not, because you've got all that pretty music there. I don't yeah. think you need it. Yeah. I like it. See how you yeah. can just leave something off mm -hmm. and it still looks mm -hmm. good with your fabric choice. Yes, yeah, so I did have to change out the white because I started it and you could not see. I yeah. did not, not only that, but the gray from of the note came through. Oh, yeah, you don't So it didn't look good. It, it looked... But I love it. Messy. I, I love the, the colors. Yeah. Good job. And I, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I have to get mine framed. Yeah. I That's a lot of stitching. 
Mm -hmm. I worked on. Ooh, a, ooh. Yeah. So it's ro working then, the rotation with the. Yes, it is. I worked on um, Wash Day mm -hmm. by Clementine Hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a piece I started, I think it was my Juneteenth start. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this year. Last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. It's a lot of blue. <laughs> it's, yes, yes, it's a lot. I almost didn't bring it because it's a. I thought I had a color by oh. Okay. Um, yeah. She's yeah. got to protect it because it's like very rare. It's like yes, I think. Yeah. I it can, needs to be framed. Can't. <laughs> yeah, I really need to do something with it um, to further protect it. Yeah. But as you can see, I'm working on the blues of the sky. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not I'm not stitching this background color because of the color of the fabric. Yeah, that's gonna look great. Yes. Yeah. So what I'm happy about is that. Are you using V5200 so you can get a real crisp white? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You might just want to take a picture or copy the the cover so you don't have to travel with it back and forth and just put it. in. I didn't even realize I had that in there. Yeah, I but we could you could always. We could load a picture, technology, and we could pop up the picture. We already have the, you already I know, have so we don't need to carry it around. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just okay. trying to protect the, <laughs> I know. the scarce, you know, that's like the only one I know of. <laughs> yes, several, several people have reached out, and I have actually contacted a gallery that carries Clementine Hunter uh -huh. uh, work, and um, can't cannot find the, the cross stitch. There are a couple of Needlepoint needle charts, um, but you can't find the cross stitch charts. So mm -hmm. I will definitely be, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm done. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't handle it. It's too much yeah. pressure. All righty. So those were the whips and any whip go updates this week? No. Nope. I know we didn't touch on it while we were. I mean, I stitched on Santa's workshop, no. which is my whip go. Okay. So. Just want to. Make, double check to no, make sure. No update on it other than it's in progress. Okay. Were, yeah. you, were, were you stitching on your stuff from Whipco? Uh, I didn't stitch on ABC de la Borders, but today, but this week, it well, this weekend is 24 hours of cross stitch. Oh, that's right. And that's one of the ones that I want to touch and work on for my 20. While, while you're in team sleep? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that sleep was good. Okay. <laughs> This team is pitching in their dreams. <laughs> Nap. I'm just like, yes, everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So who's who's got haul? Oh, I got, I got haul. Oh my God. Oh, let's see EJ's haul. I got haul too. I have haul. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Maybe she'll pop again. EJ. She's pausing for dramatic effect. She is leaving us. Hanging. And we don't even have anything to drink. I'm right here. Do you not see me? No. no. You, you were stuck. You were oh, stuck. Oh, okay. I was like, I was, oh, my internet is unstable. Okay. okay. Well, we knew that. <laughs> you, you can hear us, though. <laughs> I heard everything you said. Drink. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Yeah. We didn't get to what see what your see? haul. We didn't, we didn't see, see your haul. haul. You were frozen. I showed it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't show it yet. Because uh, <laughs> you never said, oh, that's slow. I know. That fast. Yeah. <laughs> I got my first fabric of the month. Oh. oh. Fortnite fabrics. Ooh. Ooh. This is 36 counts. Oh, it's called Roof? Roof. It's called Roof. Roof. This is um, from their um, Subtle Samplers collection. Oh, oh okay. okay. So this is oh. So, so is there a fabric of the month that you pick subtle or sampler or how do you pick? Do you just get random? This or is subtle. There they have four. Well, well subtle sampler is one. Mm -hmm. Uh, duo colorful duos or duos is another. Which I was very I was this close to getting duos like basically two different colors coming together to make a beautiful fabric. Um, I there is. Mm -hmm. There is opu, opu, the opalescent one, the rich, rich expensive or expensive rich, one of the okay, so, so deep rich colors. Uh, 
No, it's with opalescent. opalescent okay, fabric. all right. And there's also a scissor fob um, club. Oh, cool. I can go up four. Okay. Yes. Okay. But you can go, you can definitely go watch them mm -hmm. for all the details because I may have missed one. Mm -hmm. I think you or did. Or a couple. I think I think <laughs> you did. That's okay. Yeah. I, well, we get the gist of it. Go, go watch for fabric and one scissor fob. Yeah. Go check them out. You won't be disappointed. No, not at all. Not, not at all. all. I've uh, watched their fabric and I'm using their fabric uh -huh. on at least one of my pieces and it's just a dream to work okay. with. And it's gorgeous. It's and, and their um their New Year's Day their New Year's Day video. <laughs> go just go watch it. So this is it. That is beautiful. Yeah. I love how it it uh kind of radiates down to the darker area. Yeah, there. I mean, there's there's a ton of Blackbird design patterns that would be perfect yes. on that. Yes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I could totally see that as a sampler. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. So this is, once again, Ruth, 36 count. And they're thinking about doing another collection because they already have two collections, mm -hmm. the Boho and the other one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Southern Spread and Boho. I, I know a lot of their, <laughs> I have a lot of information about them. Uh, the, the Southern Spread and the Boho collection they have, and they're thinking about doing another collection. Wow. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. So Very this is my first fabric from them. So that, is, oh, that is all my haul. Okay. Oh, okay. All, right. all right. So I got some fabric for one of my pieces. Ooh, look at it's that. It's called Beautiful Blizzard. It's a um, fabric flare. And it's going to be for Santa, Winter White Santa. Look at He's that. He's going to pop off of that. So he'll wow. sit right there at the, Ooh. the white part where, because he's this Winter White Santa is the one with the tree. Yes. And uh, well, I love that from the white down yeah. here. And, and it goes up to almost like the sky. Beautiful sky, dark oh, blue. Oh my goodness! Um, I, I I got a picture that I snagged from somewhere that I I'm I'm copying the idea. <laughs> I mean, this is a white Santa. Oh yeah, oh, good. Put him on that fabric. You can't stitch him on anything else. No. I mean, he's like. No. Yeah. So so I got this in um, in Ada and in um, linen. It's okay. thirty-two count. This is thirty-two. And sixteen Ada. Wow. So it's going to be it's beautiful. And I got Halloween. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, just cross stitch Halloween collection. Yeah. This was some of the best years. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. That I like. I mean, I mean, for me. Is that a Dracula on top of a, like a, a, yeah, it's a 3D, with a Jack in the Jack in a Box, a Jack in a Box. <laughs> Jack in the They'll pop out and bite you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all my haul, haul. Oh, that's your haul? Yeah. Okay. So I have haul. I, uh, so I'm currently working on my inventory of silk threads. Oh, okay. Um, and I went out to silks for you and I noticed that I didn't have any dark. it's looking good. Look at that blue. Oh. This it's is, like an indigo blue almost. Yes. This is PR069. That is just, um, and blue is my favorite color. So, yes, had to have that. Mm. And I also, I've been looking for a black because Deb, South Florida Deb H. Stitches? South Florida Deb H. Stitches. Stitches talked about how she uses black. She bought some silks for you, silk and black. And she uses it primarily instead of 310. Yeah, you look at some of the nice variations. A little, a little blue. Yeah. It's like a raven. Yes. Love that. PR070. Okay. So I'm very, very happy about that. I also received my Silks for You color, the color club, where she um, curates four shades very eastery very oh, awesome. yeah very beautiful that looks really gorgeous yeah. yes very eastery yeah. yes love that and 
not to be outdone. I also have some stitchy kindness. Well, let me show my stitchy kindness. So our friend Fran. And she's been on the video last year. Yes, that's right. She was before. a guest. Through oh, hey, Fran. Yes. Yes. Oh, how cute. That's a stitched Oreo. You can't eat yes, it. Yes, she stitched that Oreo. That yeah, I, that's so cute. Yeah. So cute. And she gifted me some candy cane Oreos. <laughs> And some limited edition brownie Oreo. Brookies. Brookies. What's Brookies? Brownie Oreo. Yeah. Oh, like brownie and cookie? Brookies? Yeah, it's got three flavors of cream inside. Yes, of it. there's brownie, there's the original filling, and and the and cookie dough. Yeah. Wait, wait, the filling? Oh, it's not the top part? No. PJ, you, you just, just, just she does while she's writing the description box below. Yes, I will. <laughs> and <laughs> go ahead. And because I'm so excited and happy about the um, Harriet Tubman stitching, I went out to uh, Mag for Mag for my Mad for Minders. Uh -huh. Minders, yes. Oh. And I bought each of us. A Harriet Tubman <gasps> needle minder. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Yes. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Ronnie can put it in his room. <laughs> that is lovely. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. So, right on my. Um, thank you. My when I pick her up in 2022. Yes, yes. Mad for minders. We'll put her in our description box below. Thank you so much, Julia. Yeah. So um I was stuck on there. Okay. So that was my that was my haul. Yay. And announcements. Who's announcement. got announcements? Who's got announcements? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he uses them as badges. Yeah. <laughs> have announcement next Thursday the bag of the month the 20th is going the, out the 28th they always get on the 28th yep. and um, I'm going to start working on new bags next week and next Saturday I'll announce what exactly they will be this time. yeah okay wait don't go yet don't go. what happened to your mustache I'm shape I'm change <laughs> you and Gary are matching <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and then uh, one other thing in the shop, we got more CDs. Mm. We got uh, this collection of cross stitch. Another was 60, 60 issues, uh, two thousand one to two thousand ten. I love enjoy is so cute. Mm -hmm. and and also, the we got we have the Halloween collection too. Uh -huh. but I Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, <laughs> gotta have some benefits of having a local, local one, LMS. One off the top? No, no, no. <laughs> one through the PayPal. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boss in there. You know. uh, oh, that's true. That's true. Yes. <laughs> uh, we just want to say that representation matters. Yes. Uh, diversity, representation matters, Sal, ongoing and diversity and inclusion, Sal, ongoing. Mm -hmm. Right. So tag your pieces, Instagram, Facebook. Yes. Everywhere. Well, I think they're all one thing. They're all one thing. I think if you tag it in one, it's in the other under the under the hashtag. Oh, really? I think the hashtag is really connected. Only if it's um connected. Oh, yeah. if it's connected. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't. All right. I, I don't know. <laughs> Instagram posts it, 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 it sends it to Instagram. Oh, okay. Facebook posts to send it to Instagram or vice versa. Okay, plans. Me? What are your plans? Well, as I said, this week is, this weekend is 24 hours of cross stitch. Mm -hmm. I've done an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> it took me 130 stitches to do an hour and 30 minutes. For what, uh, what 22 and a half hours to go uh yes something like that yeah anywho uh, i'm working on baby elephant mm -hmm. 
I'm working on Karen's jar, which is, um, I'll show it to you next week. Is it going to be a finish in the 24 hours? Could be. It, no. could, it could be a sap. There's no way. There's no, it can't be a sap. Um, and I'm working on, oh, what's that piece over there? Hold on, excuse me. Excuse my reach. Oh, wait, this is, this is, see, this is all I have. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. yeah. You thought it was more, no, no. You can get the, all, all the gritting done. No. Yeah, I can get the, I can get the jar done. I think I'll, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, Mother Moon. Did I say Mother Moon? Because, um, yeah, Mother Moon. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So it's just, I'm going to stitch for a couple of hours, watch some movies, stitch, and then maybe change, maybe not. It's all loosey goosey. Okay. And then that's it. The tip but, about movies don't watch subtitle movies or you won't be able to stitch. Oh, my goodness. I was watching, I was watching this, this Brazilian. <laughs> Thing. This it's a Brazilian reality show, and I had to stop watching because I had to read because I don't speak Portuguese. Yeah, I had to stop and, and read. I'm like, this is not the stitching kind of show. No, no, no. <laughs> I had to figure something else out. I was watching the Star Trek, and the Klingons were all on the bottom, like, I don't know what's going on because <laughs> I'm not looking up. <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans, Gary? Plans. Um. Okay, let's check the calendar here. What's calendar? Uh, that's your, oh, that's my whip thing. That's your whip go. On the 29th, I'll be starting Bella Filipinas Bellatrix. Oh. This is a sow with Amy and Colorado, Kansas City girl from in the Colorado, Colorado world. world. And I'm gonna I'm using Banshee from um, Hand Out by Stephanie. I'm doing 28 count because we got the beads in yesterday in the shop and we created all the bead packs. Holy moly. <laughs> the bead pack is at least the size, at least the size of that chart. Wow. <laughs> there's a ton of beads in these things and they're going to be beautiful. So I want to make sure I have plenty of room to do bead placement. Yes. Yes. Wow. So, and, and look at the color. The color I know is that really, is going to be stunning when yeah. the dress, when you start I, with the, magic, the, and the dress, mm -hmm. stunning. Are you going to do the, out, the outside frame? I think so. I think it needs it because it's got something hanging from there. Yeah. That, like, um, which is weed or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> which hazel? Which is weed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they got to smoke something. Oh, my God. And, uh, <laughs> For medicinal purposes, yes. <laughs> so you're talking with the spirits. <laughs> And um, so I'll probably work a little bit on Santa. And then tomorrow during Zoom, I like to stitch on this during Zoom. Yeah. So yeah. Very good. Straight lines and and then there might be another staff. Oh, there is a challenge. Um in the notes next Saturday on Zoom on, on the video, EJ and I are gonna do a SAF during the video, right? No. That's what I, that's what I read. No, no, no. I heard I heard commitment. No, I to a SAF. No. Come on, we could do a SAF. No. Thank you, Sheila. She has my back. Yes, girl. <laughs> I tried. I was hoping she'd say yes. No. <laughs> it was only like three little Sorry, something because then I lose the bet. No. I tried. <laughs> There's always next week. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Folks, we've got what? 48 more weeks of Gary. Uh, will she, won't she? Yeah. Staff. <laughs> We're going to be the mistresses of our domain. Yes. Watch out for that witch's weed. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Today and tomorrow, I'm working on Seaside Sampler by Rosewood Manor. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to pick up Halloween Town by Shakespeare's Peddler. Ooh. I'm going to work on the uh, African lady with the green. Mm, yes. Oh, yeah, that'll be pretty. Uh, lady with the vase. Yes, with the vase. Mm -hmm. And that is Lenart. Uh, then uh, just here for the booze, mm. which was, was one of the pieces that I started specifically for No News Starts, but it's one that I had been wanting to do for a long time. So I, I put that in the 
an initial rotation. Oh, okay. And that is, I think, is that illuminating? Uh, I have it no. in the shop. Okay. Um, it's, I think it's, yeah, I think it's illuminating. Okay. And then. Imaginating. Uh, imaginating. Uh, imaginating. Yes. Yeah. Uh, green damsel, which is ink circles, which I've been working on for a long time, but I'm finally on the second side of it. I've got half of it done. Okay. It took me four years or I don't know, but you know, forever like to get yeah. to and um, I'm maintaining, so last year, leap year, I started ABC de la Broderie. My goal was to get halfway through the end of the year, and I reached the letter M okay. in December. So um, I decided to keep it up on the 29th of the month this, this year as well, because okay. I, I, it's, it's, I'm enjoying that. It's okay. like a nice kind of pin in the map kind of thing. So so um, next Friday and Saturday, I'll be stitching on ABC de la Brodeurs, and I decided to give myself the 31st next Sunday of free day. Oh. Since we don't have that many 31 months or 31 days, uh -huh. I decided to use the 31st of those months as oh. free days. So that means you get to start something? No, it just means that I get to do whatever I want. I just Three days to really start. Does not something. include a start. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and then what's on the 27th? Don't we get uh, new WIPCO thingies? Yes. On okay. the 27th of January, we will be getting new WIPCO for February. For February, yes. Yeah. Yes. February 1st. So are you close to getting all your goals done for January? Yeah, definitely. Um, let me show you. I finished one, mm -hmm. and the other is I need to complete letter E. So I have like two more to complete. You do that okay. within 24 hours. I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, does that involve the lady too, right? That That's... Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, now yes, that you yes. have her skin tone. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't forget the hashtag. <laughs> the what? Don't forget the hashtag. Yes. That's right. Do the skin tone. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> All righty. I think we're at that moment. And don't forget. Oh, no, 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 no. You almost forgot. You almost oh, forgot. Yes, I yep. almost forgot. Yeah. We should have snuck it in throughout the whole video. That would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We can still do that. No, we can't. No, we can't. No. <laughs> All right, so we had four um, items to give away this month. Uh, and we do our hours, we use them to celebrate reaching milestones uh, or just because we wanted to. And this was a just because we yeah, wanted they're, to. They're sporadic and far and, f far and few between. Yes. <laughs> so um, one of our items was Let Freedom Ring by Teresa Kogut. We had uh, 97 people uh, indicate that they were interested uh, by using the word freedom. And the winner is Jennifer Eads, E-A-D as in David S, as in Sam. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> so Jennifer, as well as all of our winners, and I will, will repeat it each time, I will make a comment to your comment, uh, asking, giving our um, Gmail address, sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com, and just get in touch with us with your address and we'll get this out to you quickly. Yes. We also had the uh, 20, was it the 2020? Yes, the 20, new one. 2020 edition. Uh, Just Cross Stitch Ornaments right. magazine. We had 81 people indicated that they were interested in ornaments. And the winner is Nora, N O R A H, Thin Thin, P as in Peter, F as in Frank, I N G S T E N, Thingston. And we're thinking that's how you pronounce your last name. So again, I will make a note. Yeah, yeah totally. Mm -hmm. uh, be making a comment to your comment and 
email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com. Right. And we will be asking you something to verify that you are who you are. Um, mm. Yeah, because I know one of Floss Tuber a year ago, a couple of years ago, had a problem. Yeah. Where someone actually snuck in there and claimed a prize that they had not won. Ooh, that's, that's not cool. That's not going to happen on our watch, okay? I'm just telling you. Don't, you don't mess dare. With Sheila. Don't dare. It's not <laughs> happening. Okay, and uh, we had 173 people. For which pattern? For baby, it's cold outside. And they all uh, responded something with the word cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is by, who was that by? Oh, that was by Heartstring Sampler. Yes, Heartstring Sampler. <laughs> oh my God. And that was uh, won by C S H R U M M C Shrum. Mm -hmm. C S H R U M M. I will comment on your comment to please email us with your contact, with your mail information. And uh, I had the, we had the chart Kitties in the Round by JBW Designs. Right. We had 94 people express interest in that. And that was won by Karen uh, Rivet, K E R Y N R I V E T T, Karen Rivet. I will be responding to your comment. So that you can then email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com. Yeah. When you were saying, um, asking for the designer, maybe it's cold outside. I'm, I'm thinking Coffee Quaker. <laughs> I'm like, who did Coffee Quaker? Because I'm looking at Coffee Quaker. Oh, <laughs> and I'm, oh yes, yes. It's hard spring sampler. <laughs> I, and I drink cold coffee, so yeah. it, it, it it all connected in my head. Your, yes, <laughs> cold coffee. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. There's no straight line. It, it, no, there's, it's there's, totally. there's probably a bunch of X's in here. Congratulations yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to our winners, and um, we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, so we have we love doing giveaways. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. And and don't forget. Miss January's here all month. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh my, it looks very weird. Just <laughs> looking at yourself. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day when you have that shirt on. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a blue shirt. <laughs> for the red lipstick, the hair, I gotta recreate that. Yeah, you should. Next next well, next Saturday will be the last time. Yep. Yep. All righty, so. Was it steal that look? <laughs> oh, that would be a cool meme. Everyone try that look. That would be a little hard. Okay, I know Bernie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bernie memes are amazing. I love it. All righty. And don't forget. No, no matter where, where you are, are the, the sun, sun is always shining, shining when you're stitching. stitching. Bye. Bye.